Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, of course, and welcome to this video on the, on Flare. I'm not sure uh, whether I have covered Flare before. I, I think I did. I think I, I have covered it before. Let's do a quick search. It's almost already my ninth video I'm recording right now. Uh, yeah, I did eight months ago. Wow. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, but no, I, I just wanted to do a quick video on that. I mean, I, I Flare has a, has a has a pretty tight community. I mean, I'm I'm not really part of it. Uh, I don't know much about Flare, but right now, if you if you look at it, it's been quite bullish. Um, I do think, and that's especially true. Usually, like, like the open interest has gone up a lot. It went from 1.15 to 2.4. That's an increase of over 100%. Usually, if the open interest increases more than 100%, price will rally up a ton. And it did, while it happened. All right? But that still means uh, that there for sure is more bullish momentum left in the tank. Uh, before we get into that, though, I do want to say that I, I, I think that like, if you just look at the price action, like Flare deserves this bullish momentum, I think. But... The price action is a bit shady, all right. And if you also look at, for example, where the volume is coming from, um, with a lot of volume coming from Gate.io, some Turkish uh, sources, OKX, Bitthumb, uh, I have to conclude that Flare is probably quite manipulated as well. It doesn't matter. I mean, manipulated crypto sometimes can rally the most. It's just that you should know it, all right. Uh, but yeah, looking at Flare right now, what, what happens is that very bullish, some big purchases, who knows. Uh, but on the daily time frame, it hit the 3i2 FIP of this entire move down. Strong Fibonacci level. Um, it's actually pretty, pretty uh, good that Flare has been able to hold these support levels in relatively bearish market circumstances while hitting such a strong resistance level. So then the big question is, is will, will Flare rally higher or not? If you look at the open interest itself, that's actually dropping down a bit. So based on that, you would, based on this, the open interest falling down in combination with what we're seeing in the markets, uh, which is, well, I mean, it's, it's bullish if you zoom out, but if you zoom in, it's, it's far from bullish. Um, given that, uh, excuse me, I'm just also looking at some, uh, I'm looking at the price of a trade I have open, uh, not sure why. Um, but given that, that combination, you would say it's most likely flare will drop down. And I, I agree. Um, but I still think, I mean, the, the most important thing you should know with Flare is that two cents is the main resistance level right now. Initially, we broke above that. Now we've broken down below that and actually respected it as resistance. If that breaks, I see no reason why Flare would not rally much higher towards the, the next Fibonacci level at two points. Well, 2.5 is probably a safe next price target. It's a psychological level. Historically, I think it's respected a little bit. Um, after that, uh, 2.7 and 2.75. But I see, like, like, that's the most important thing to know. This, this doesn't look most likely right now, but you should know that if Flare breaks above 2 cents, it's going to rally up higher. And I will uh, for sure enter a long trade on Flare. Who gives, like, I, I, I don't care that it's manipulated. If it breaks out above that, I mean, it's, it's a risk worth taking. Still a risk, but it's a risk worth taking. And if it's not able to do that, if it's not able to break above 2 cents and it just uh, keeps performing... Uh, or just keeps acting normal in these market circumstances, what will happen, and that is, at this moment, most likely due to the market circumstances, it will just slowly drop back down towards 1.75 cents, and then probably later even down towards the previous support levels at 1.5 and 1.55 cents. So I think that's mostly, I mean, if, even if it drops down there, it's technically still bullish long term, uh, but I do think that this is most likely. But like I said, just set a price alert at 2 cents and keep an eye on that. All right, because Flare, like I said, fundamentally does deserve some more bullish momentum. But those are my thoughts. So if you do have any questions, then let me know down in the comments. For now, thank you for watching. Uh, take care and bye.